could use some supplies. Heard you were the man to talk to. Cassandra said you might be calling. I'm happy to help, but I ain't running no charity either. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. You I'm hitting now. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't tease her. Ah, hey there, Frey. How is life running with her? I got it covered. Good. Because I'm getting what those Dixie Bousons are starting to interfere with our drops. They can try all they like. Still won't change the outcome. I'm getting in touch with your artistic side. My wife used to draw on anything she could get her hands on. Half the time, she didn't even realize what she was doing. And yet, every stroke was perfection. She's still back in Haiti? Yes. It is where she is buried. Yes, we've all had our share of losses. Our losses, Frey, are nowhere near the same. I'm just trying to turn the page, set things right with you. And you think comparing the deaths of our loved ones will do that? Papa 
Doc had my wife tortured trying to locate me. He had the Tonton Makut bludgeon my children to death in order to save bullets. When I last saw my wife, her eyes had ruptured from the electroshock. My little boy, his face was caved in. And my little girl, she had been hit so hard she was decapitated. They were faultless. So you and me, Foy, we are nothing in common. Makano is an evil man. In that there is no question. But just because an evil man kills, it does not mean his victims are innocent. Innocence ain't a thing that exists around folks like us. At least not for long. Hell, I'm not even sure I know what it looks like anymore. I used to. Moss. But the bloody eye get the quick eye that picture fades. But that's not important right now. Important thing is getting our weed back from the Dixie Mafia. A large shipment of marijuana is at this dock. Get it and bring it back. Not worth as much money, but we can sell everything you bring back. Cassandra never opened up to me about her own history. As much as I tried to be an ear when she needed to talk, letting go and trusting are very hard to do. The airdrops will be happening soon. You cannot expect bales of weavers to just float around for very long. Someone else will grab them. Here is truth. Our people share history. Our ancestors are your ancestors. It is the white people who tell us we are different, that we should be at war with each other, when we should really come together to fight them. That is truthful. Shooting. Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious. <laughs> I'm betting Skeletta was happy to see you. I assume Burke gets how this little arrangement works now that he's got point for Dunbeck? Sal's everything wrong with this little twisted corner of the country you have here. A grubby fuck who thinks he can buy a name for himself. Still in the process of setting up here. Goddamn Phoebe's already had half this town wired to hell. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. 
If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list, right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's see if we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's oh, right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day to day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Okay. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. <laughs> the photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. <laughs> I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're implying fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam.
I warned them how many years ago not to get involved, didn't I? Didn't I? But no, they saw a chance to teach some Yankee fuck a lesson and just couldn't say no. Stupid fucking dipshit. I saw a scumbag and fat Mexican out here a while back. What's her name? Emma? Alma. And I believe she's Cuban. Alma. Emma. Your mama. You woman scares the fuck out of me. Shit. There's a lot of stuff here. We sell it. Kick up some of that money. And we're closer to getting square with Marcano. Only so long that cocksucker can blame us for Richie screwing the pooch. Right? What? Oh. 
Get your shit in order. On it. Huh? Huh? Y'all, this body's cold. He was here a minute ago. He's not here! Move over! You hurt my blood? I hurt you! Down, President, claiming he was simply reacting to the recent wave of colored on white violence that has plagued New Bordeaux. The defense also painted a damaging portrait of one of the victims, Trey McCall. He apparently spent time as a teenager in juvenile hall for undisclosed crimes. The Prix's defense is being paid for following an outpouring of public support for the Korean War veteran. I can go. Fuck it. You get that truck? Yeah. Let me guess. You need more? As many as you can find. Anything you grab helps us get this operation going. I thought I'd forgotten this song. You're from Cuba? Goddamn painting the tis grandmother of mine. She sent this fucking mental time bomb. He was playing when the policia came for my parents. The old man wasn't political. Hell, he was a clerk in the government. But he had this drinking butt in the city. Mr. Roberts. White guy. Always around. And I bet that motherfucker was real political. He slipped out of the country before Castro started putting down spies and traitors. My folks, though. Not so lucky. Or smart. My papa, this shot right there. My mama. I don't know. So just you and your grandmother got out? When a lady and his Kermit brat pissing all over herself, wearing worth the bullets or the trouble. You ever think about going back for your mother? A few years ago, I heard she was at the Pinos before it shut down. Nothing after that. Sometimes I think you and Vito got the right idea. Fuck the past and kill every motherfucker that gets on the way of what's coming next. But I want to know. I, wa I want to know what happened to her. Is she still alive? So maybe I will set aside enough money to smuggle myself back in and see what I can find. Put that part of my life to rest. Keep the trucks coming, Lincoln. We're hitting the mother law here, my friend. I just got off the phone with some scumbag who's trying to get into my pantalones. Asshole gave me heads up of some big rigs that are carrying high-end products. Get them. Bring it back to me, and it will be like money grows on trees. Oh, Jesus. Stay away from Vito's fucking gumbo. <clears throat> Remember, if we want to keep this little operation going, you gotta keep those warehouses full. Que estupida fui. Left one swamp -ass country to live in a swamp -ass city. Cook. My ma's bucatini recipe. I, know, I thought I'd give it a try. She back in Empire Bay? No, she, uh, she passed a while ago. You got any folks back there? Take a look at that paper. It's 
So I'm city councilman's up for re-election. I need a favor. Who is he? You tired of Marcano? This fuck. Him and his pals killed a friend of mine. Look, he'd see me coming from a mile away. Oh, yeah, because I'm so inconspicuous. You know how to get to people. It's taken me 12 years and a lot of money to find this cocksucker. I'd make it worth your while. And I'd consider it a personal favor. I'll think about it. If you're having trouble finding him, look for somebody on the street might be willing to give him up. When you're done, come back here. You got a lot more names need to be X'd out. First motherfucker I want you to hit is Lucky. He gets the name on account of he ain't got none. Luck, that is. But it don't stop him from playing cards any chance he can get. You ought to be able to rough up some assholes out there who will give him up pretty easily. Guy's a real prick. No one can stand him. It took stones to help me get my place back up and running. Thanks. You hear this shit about the guy plugging the two black kids on his lawn over in South Downs? Fucking rough. You, uh, see to that thing I asked you about yet? If you need her, last I saw, Alma was in her office at the cigar warehouse. Lucky's supposed to be playing cards here. You answer to me. Hey, watch where you're going. I know where you went, asshole! Keep worrying since we haven't had a big storm this year. They always come. Yeah. Apparently the guy barely had a... You ain't shit out there. Wow, we still got time. Saddle up, fella. Still stomping ass out there, Lincoln. Thanks for taking care of that thing. I might have another job for you later. Any idea what kind of medieval bullshit Burke's got planned for the butcher? No, wait. Never mind. I probably don't want to know. You talked to Alma yet? Fucking kid cusses in English better than I do. Still can't believe we're taking on Sal, but you say you got a plan, then I believe you. Burke losing his kid like that almost makes you feel for the psychotic fuck. You got the whole one-man army thing going, sure, but if you need help, I'd suggest calling in some muscle. Still can't get used to the heat in this fucking city, you know? 
When's the last time this place even had seasons? <laughs> Running out of room to keep all this cash. Come back and I'll have more for you. 